Hello ladies, I am back with a short video trying to figure out a problem I am having with um, some gel that I've been putting on my nails. Um, the first time that I used it was when I did a set and I didn't really have any problems with that but it seems like I have a really huge problem when I put it on my natural nail. Um, my nails are pretty thin so I was told when doing a set on my nails with other gel polish um, to do like a layer of builder gel. So I went looking and I was a little cheap and I found those four um, knockoff I guess IBD gels from AliExpress. Here they are. I have some foil because the foil that came on it came off and for some odd reason it you know gel grows legs and ends up on the sides of the jar. I don't know how that happens. So I had to put a little bit of foil on it. But I got that and it seems like, I don't know if it's the application, I don't know if maybe the gel doesn't want to stick to my nails, I don't know what it is. But I just realized I just did my nails and put a, a layer of a gel and as you can see this whole piece fell off. Actually I think it was the day after I did them. I can already see that my nail, I mean you can pretty much see that my nail is pretty like paper thin and you can see the gel, I mean there's not a really thick layer but there is a layer because I noticed the thinner I did it even when I went like this it was still bending so I try to put on as much as I could, I mean it's not a lot so it kind of looks natural you know but um, that happened there. Um, this one is okay. This one is okay. A piece fell off of my pinky nail. I'm sorry if my freaking phone keeps not focusing. I don't know what the heck is going on with my phone. Sometimes it wants to focus, sometimes it doesn't. But there's that one. Um, I just banged my nail at dinner tonight and a piece of that fell off. I am sorry if my phone is not focusing the way I want it to, but yeah, the piece, if I zoom all the way the hell in, you see there's a piece missing there, a piece missing there, a piece, and it seems like it's always on the side, and I've also noticed after I cure them, I don't know if there's one on this side, but it seems to recede this way and a little bit on the tip. It doesn't matter. I can sit there and the rest of my nail could look fine but it's like I get to the tip and I can see that it has receded. And also on the sides. I don't know if you can see where it's like shiny and then it's like the gel. I don't know if it's my 9 watt um, lamp that I use. I don't know if I'm over curing it. Um, even in the back, I think on this uh, wannabe gel. See, look, there's just some gel. It says cure time three minutes. But like I said, I don't know if it's the gel. I don't know if it's my lamp. Um, if you use gels, I mean, let me know if just, you know, these knockoff ones are just not a good gel to use on your nails, period. Um, you know, I was told some ladies, they use it, have no problems, you know, they use it as a base and stuff like that. Um, so I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure. I mean, I have three more of these jars that are not even open and if I can't use them, I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with them, you know, maybe just keep them to, um, you know, practice or, or so, you know, not use the good stuff. But, uh. Yeah, let me know, you know, if, if you do gels, if you ever had a problem um, with, uh, you know, lifting or priming or whatever. Um, I do like two, um, two swipes of the nail with this. And then I use this uh, No Lift Nails primer that I got from uh, Sally's. I don't know if maybe I'm just adding a gel too early like right after I prime is that a good thing or a bad thing when it comes to gels um, 
if I'm supposed to wait for it to somewhat disappear on my nail and then put the gel you know like maybe I'm just doing it too fast and then you know the liquid or whatever stays underneath the gel and the nail I don't know like I said I am new to gel so I'm just learning still yet so yeah if you have any tips it would be great to let me know let me know if I just need to you know stop being so cheap and get the you know the real stuff or if maybe I'm just not using this right maybe there's some techniques that I'm missing but yeah just let me know and yeah I'll probably have to take this off because this is definitely not a soak off gel I have to sit here and use my file yay um, but <laughs> I hate doing it because I mean I'm not really all that good with my gel with uh, the drill either so but hey practice makes perfect right but yeah if you have any tips let me know leave it down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one bye